In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the OWC laptop SSD upgrade kit for your MacBook Pro 2012. So get ready to rock. Hey, my name is Lid Shaw and welcome to Recording Studio Rockstars. If you want to learn how to record, edit, mix, and master your very best record ever, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything from us here at YouTube. All right, so in this video, I'm going to take the OWC SSD upgrade kit and I'm going to take my 2012 MacBook Pro 15 inch computer that I've been using for years to record music, mix music, uh, record and edit and mix my podcast. And I'm going to upgrade it with the SSD kit. In a previous video, I did an unboxing of the OWC upgrade kit. I'll include a link to that video in the show notes below. I'll be taking the Mercury Extreme Pro 6G hard drive to install and replace the system drive. We're also going to take the old optical drive out of the laptop, the one that you used to use for your CDs or your DVDs, which we don't need anymore. And we're going to replace that with the OWC Data Doubler SSD Drive Caddy, put in the Mercury Electra 3G hard drive into the caddy, and that's going to go into the optical base slide. That is going to allow me to put all of my Dropbox files and folders onto that second hard drive. And then the system drive is going to be blazing fast, running all my apps and running the system for the laptop. So the stuff we've got today to install is the OWC Mercury Extreme Pro 6G SSD drive, the Mercury Electra 3G SSD drive, the OWC Data Doubler. We're also going to use the OWC SSD Express Enclosure to take the old hard drive and then connect it to the laptop and we'll be able to port over all the data and files from my old hard drives onto the new drives in the laptop. As you can see right now, I'm in the studio setting. Let's go up to my new office in the house, aka the clean room, and we'll install the OWC SSDs up on the nice table. All right, so I was able to take the laptop, lay it out on my desk upside down. First thing you do is remove, I don't know, 10 screws from the back, and then the back just comes right off. I had a little bit of dust in there to clean it off. But then you just pop up the battery connector and then ribbon cable that goes to the system drive, remove the mounting screws from the system drive, put those into the Mercury Extreme Pro 6G, and then that connects back to the ribbon cable, pops right in, no problem, screw it down, you're done with the system drive, it's that easy. Next up is the optical drive, and as you can see, I'm able to have the OWC instructional video just off to the side on the phone, so it's really that easy while you work on this. And um, then you remove a couple of ribbon cables, you have to unscrew that one little antenna holder there, scoot it to the side, and you can see I used, I already had um, a hard drive in there, but it was a slow spinning drive, and I pulled it out, and then I can just install the Mercury Electra 3G drive drive into the data doubler and put the screws into it and now it's ready to install. So then you just reconnect the cable there and then the little mounting bracket, screw those in and then the, the rivet cables and the connectors there just push down onto the circuit board. So you see you reattach the antenna there and the power supply and then you, you just push those ribbon cables down, push down the battery ribbon cable back in and you're ready to go. Screw the thing back together and it literally takes like half an hour or something. Now, as soon as you've got those SSDs in there, then you can begin formatting the drives. Um, you can see my old drives go back into the enclosure, which I'm going to be able to hook up and transfer all my data over to the new drives. And once the drives are formatted, then of course you can reinstall the operating system. Rather than cloning the drives, they recommend that you actually start fresh and reformat. It makes sense because drives get corrupted over time and they're going to work better if you sort of reinstall stuff. And when you go through the formatting process with the older computer, I did have to start back at Mountain Lion and then Apple gives you a link which you can then upgrade to El Capitan and then up to High Sierra from there. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed watching that installation video. One of the things that I really loved about doing this installation on my laptop is before when I was editing my podcast, when I was editing music and trying to work off the laptop and do real audio editing in Pro Tools, I would constantly get the spinning beach ball and all kinds of error messages. And that has really, really changed and improved for me. And I don't get those messages anymore. So that's an awesome thing. And that's something I would certainly wish on you for your production. If you want to learn more about OWC and their S 
SSD upgrade kit, just use the link below or go to OWC.com so that you can get your studio Mac in tip top shape and keep your old Mac running great like a brand new one. Thanks for watching. I'm Lid Shaw and welcome to Recording Studio Rockstar. See you in the next video. Cheers.